meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Seven days in a row of record-breaking temperatures here in the capital city. Additionally, seven days in a row at 100 degrees or hotter. And today, 101. Our record was 100 degrees set back in 1921. And guess what? We're still in the 90s. Feels like temperatures for a large portion of the area still above 100 degrees. Southwest winds have returned. Today, our feels like temperatures were not totally unbearable. Yes. They were still well into the triple digits, but we actually had a northerly wind. Now with winds out of the southwest again, we're just going to have all of that moisture returning from the Gulf. And we've talked about this before, urban heat island and how Baton Rouge is an urban heat island. Same with New Orleans. And so we tend to run hotter. It's because all of that daytime heating, all of that heat is absorbed by all the asphalt, concrete, all the buildings in downtown Baton Rouge. So less greenery means less shade and then we heat up more. So as you see, temperatures rise faster due to the heat absorption. Now at night, we don't cool off much. We were in the lower 80s this morning and again, same goes the urban heat island. So we have all of that heat that is just absorbed during the day and then we're slower to cool. So the heat is just released much slower and that's the case for urban areas versus rural areas. And so that's why overnight we're still expecting upper 70s, lower 80s and we'll all warm up into the 90s and 100s tomorrow. Feels like temperature 114 degrees possibly here in the capital city. And so basically the entire area, not just the entire area in southwest Mississippi, the entire state of Louisiana is under an excessive heat warning tomorrow, 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. So this is dangerous heat, especially if you're going to be outside for extended periods of time. If you're going to cut the grass, gardening, working out in the sun, I would recommend early morning or later in the evening. Even then, you see that feels like temperatures still push pushing 110 degrees even during the evening hours. So please use extreme caution outside because heat related illnesses can and will creep up on you. Same for Sunday. If you have any Sunday fun day plans, the shade indoors, maybe go and see a movie brunch indoors as well. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, rain chances will be a little higher, especially Tuesday and Wednesday, but our uh, temperatures are still going to be well into the triple digits. Those could be the days that we don't hit 100. We'll see. But for now, looks as though most of the rain will stay to our northeast and east. We'll have to see over the weekend if our rain chances start to lean a little higher versus lower. But it's not looking promising. You see a large portion of southeast Louisiana expecting less than an inch of rain, which is very concerning considering Baton Rouge were already abnormally dry, so the deficit for the year isn't completely terrible. However, since June 1st, we are roughly almost seven inches below where we should be for this time of year, and you see a severe drought for the South Shore and a large portion of South Louisiana. Unfortunately, intensifying drought conditions for some of Southeast Louisiana, and I mentioned this before, no burn bans currently in place for our coverage area. However, just to the west and just to the east of us, you see where the burn bands currently are in place. So over the progression of the next couple of weeks, we're really going to have to watch for wildfire potential. Hopefully we can get some beneficial rain, but until then, stay cool, stay hydrated. Can't stress that enough. We'll be right back.